Good afternoon, everybody, from Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort. We're here. This is our last resort on our tour For of Disney. all of the Disney yeah. resorts. I am nervous because this resort is gigantic. I'm not nervous because although it's a large resort, we do have the option to rent a golf cart, which I think we're going to try to do. And I think that's going to make it easy and fun. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too, but let's go give it a try. Here is our first spot that we're going to stop. Here's the reception outpost. This is where you check in and where we're going to rent our golf cart. Here's a little overview of the main lobby area that you come to check in at. And there's, of course, concierge and registration over there. There's bathrooms in here too. Does this Mickey up here count as a hidden Mickey? Oh, I didn't even see that. He's up there. I like all of the theming up here too. This actually reminds me of my grandparents' old house. They used to have a loft like this in oh. their house and they had, and it looked just like this. Just full of old timey yeah. Cracker Barrel type stuff. Yeah. There's also a little kids section over here where they're watching Mickey Mouse cartoons. And there's a fireplace, which I'm sure they would have lit on a cold afternoon or evening. There's also a pressed penny machine here, which doesn't really make sense because it's Monsters Inc. pennies. I'm sure there's a Fort Wilderness one somewhere. The last thing I wanted to show you guys before we leave the main check-in area is the mailbox. Oh, it's a turn of the century mail collection box. Loaned to us by the United States Postal Service. So this is a vintage post box? Yes. Ooh. That's pretty neat. It looks like the one on Main Street. Yeah. So I wonder if that's also being loaned to the post, like from the post office. Maybe. Here's all of our golf carts. I wonder which one we're going to get. Which one will we choose? That one, hopefully that one. I like the number on that one. We did it, you guys. We rented a golf cart. This is so exciting. This makes me want to have a golf cart in my real life. <laughs> Let's see how fast it goes. <laughs> no, yeah, we're doing ears. it. <laughs> we're going like a solid like five miles an hour. So we're here at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. I don't know where we're going. We have a map. And right now we're just heading straight down the main center path. We're just we're just taking an adventure on the open road. And I really thought like maybe we could walk this <laughs> after seeing this very first road. Yeah, I don't think so. He put down the windshield for us, but we determined that it was too windy for that, so we're putting it back up. <laughs> All right. He called it our golf cart air conditioning. <laughs> when he said it, I thought there was actually air conditioning on the golf cart. <laughs> nope. You just take down the windshield. I like how wiggly it is. It like bounces around. No, oh, no. We even have one of those uh, mirrors that they have on like school buses. Oh, here are the cabins. We're passing by the cabins. I want to stay at one of these cabins so bad. Man, they look so cool. And I think they even have um, bunk beds in there. Oh, here's the bus stop too. Yeah, there's the bus stop for the cabins. So I think we are down right now Peacock Pass. Let's go into Heron Hall. <laughs> I am certainly glad that I got a map because yeah. I don't think I would know where to go at all if I didn't have a map. Now check this out. They have special trash cans here that are locking so you have to put your hand underneath it to open it because there's so many animals out and about because we're in the woods. This is here. Fort Wilderness. This is Fort Wilderness. And I like that these are basically just trailers that they've like covered in wood. So every once in a while uh, Disney has sales of things that they used to have or that they've upgraded and at one point they were selling old Fort Wilderness trailers. One of the things that we tried at some point in our Disney fandom is we thought we should try to stay in one of these cabins at Fort Wilderness and when we looked, and I don't know if this is always the case, but the time that we looked there was like a minimum of four days that you had to stay in a cabin and we were only looking to stay for like a weekend. Well and I think it was like $800 a night. It was a lot. So we definitely couldn't stay for like four days. Yeah. We are following another golf cart, which is pretty exciting. I like how you sounded like a little robot for a second. You go, we are following <laughs> another. Oh no, we're, okay. This was the entrance. All right, cool. We just basically went around a little loop. Back when I was training for the Star Wars 10K, we actually trained back here. And it was really, really nice. There's like a really nice running trail back here. Ooh, I like that little golf cart. That's nice. Yeah. Well, they're doing some work back there. What are they doing? That's a interesting looking machine. I don't know, they're moving like a piece of concrete around. So I really have no idea how we're gonna do this resort tour because usually I'll be like, and from here, well, we turn and look in this direction. I think we'll do sections. So right now we're in like the cabin section. Yeah, and this is called Peacock Pass out in front of us. Right over here is the sports courts. You can see they're playing basketball over there. And this is where we parked 
right here where we were showing you that construction equipment and we're gonna go check out the pool. This is called the Wilderness Swimming Pool. Well, swimming without a G. It certainly is a nice looking pool, but you can hear that construction is going on over there. I wonder what this building is. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I guess this building isn't something where the public can go in because there's no doorknob. But they do give you some park information and some campground information over here. You're allowed to bring your own fire pit? Wow. They also give you the times for say like Hoop de Doo, Crockett's Tavern, Trails End, and Mickey's Backyard Barbecue. I want to do this. Yes. Oh, they also have horseback riding, wagon rides, carriage rides, and pony rides. Oh, and archery. I do have to admit that piece of construction equipment they've got going on back there is pretty quiet. Like for being a piece of construction equipment that seems to be chopping down the forest. What is it doing? I think it's like chopping down the forest. Also, there's a little hot tub over here. The other building over by the pool, nothing real interesting. It's just a bathroom with a couple of vending machines next to it. I like the little bathroom sign. He's like a farmer guy with a mustache. All right, all right, Jen. It's your turn to drive. All right. Happy Sweet 16. Sweet 16. You're doing great, How sweetie. Do go into this big hole? Oh no, you're good. You did it. I did it. Okay. Yeah, now you just push the accelerator. Just ease and whoa! And we're making a left. Making a left? And I don't know do where we're to going. Uh, turn six? Should I go in front of this bus? Uh, yeah, do it to it. Really, really get on it. Oh goodness. All right, we did it. Uh, where are we heading to next? Let's see. I don't know how to read a map. All right, when we come to a three-way stop or to the stop sign, make a right. This is called Big Pine Drive. So we're on Big Pine Drive, and you can see we've got cabins to our right and motorhome campgrounds to our left. Oh, make a left into this spot right here. So we pulled off over here in this RV section, which is I think 2100. I wanted to show the comfort stations here. So these are the comfort stations for the people that are camping in their RVs. You got ice machines and bathrooms, some trash cans, another one of those information signs, a laundry room. Let's see if we can go inside the laundry room. Oh no, we can't go in. They want us to use our magic band, but you can see in there, it's just basic Disney laundry room. I don't know, did you try? Yeah. There's a house phone here, an AED. I wonder if I can go into the bathroom. I think these are open right now. I'm gonna try to go in. So we just wanna give you a look inside of the comfort station. Got some, some bathroom stalls, sink. And the showers are back here. It's actually really nice. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Then you can change in the front part. This is not too shabby. I would totally stay here. Not here in the bathroom, but here and use the bathroom. <laughs> the sign out front said that you didn't need your key to get into those comfort stations unless it was between the hours of midnight and 6 a.m. So anytime before that or after 6 a.m., it's, it's open access. Yeah, and I also wanted to say that that was area number 1100, not whatever I said earlier, <laughs> and That'll be the only comfort station that we show you the inside of. We'll point out a couple of other ones as we're going because they're kind of all over the place at this resort. So let's go do some more exploring. And as you guys can see by this sign here, there is definitely a lot of stuff to see. Oh, we went past the sign. Oh. A lot of stuff to see here. Sorry. We're going straight though. See what we can find over here. You can see some people here rented some bikes and they're doing some cruising around Fort Wilderness. Oh, what's that? We're going to go check it out. Is that the pool? Yeah. Whoa. So we are now in section 1600. You can see we just passed a comfort station and these are where people are camping in tents and the occasional RV or trailer. Man, I want to stay out here so bad. We pulled over to one of the unoccupied lots where you could rent to do some camping in and I wanted to show you guys it comes with a water hose and a water spigot. It comes with an electrical outlet over here. Oh, that's a cable TV outlet? Oh my gosh. All right. You're Not an electrical outlet. Glamping. Where's the electrical outlet? Oh, it's on this side. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, there it is. And hookups for your big trailers. And then it also comes with a little grill over here. And I specifically asked Jen to stop at this one because it has a view of the water. There's like a little river back here. This is cool. It is so serene out here. Wow. Listen to this. 
Achoo! Run! Oh, what? I can't sneeze? I like this. I bet you early in the morning, you can see all kinds of animals over here on the other side. I'm curious though, do you think that the mosquitoes would be really bad here? I don't know. Maybe. That might be something to think about if you're going to stay here is maybe make sure you have like one of those mosquito screens or um, bring lots of bug spray. But it's so pretty. I love it. I just noticed somebody made a pinecone Mickey here at the campsite that we stopped at. I just want to show you guys before we head out of this area, there is a tetherball court here. Next stop, that pool. Don't we go... Oh, I guess we can't go there. We yeah, go we're going to oh. make our... Like a left. Going down the little path, there's some yellow things here that oh, you gotta no. squeeze between. <laughs> I'm afraid. You got it. Okay. Oh look, we're going over top of the little river too. Also, we're passing by the tennis courts. And a little, uh, like picnic pagoda with a couple of extra grills. This is awesome. Yeah, there's a Segway tour that they do. They're learning how to use the Segway. Yep. Trying to find a parking spot for our golf cart. Nice work. Man, I love this golf cart. First spot that we've come to is Chippendale's Campfire Sing-Along. This looks really awesome. I want to do it one night. There's kind of a lot of seating, so I have a feeling that it's kind of a ruckus. And there's a little spot for a campfire right there, too. This is the bathrooms back here for this. And the chuck wagon. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I think that's this, right? Oh, okay. Let's go see what's on the menu at the chuck wagon. I like this looks like a gigantic screen for watching movies. Dr. Terminus. So here is Fresh Fixins at Fort Wilderness. All of those sound so delicious. Ooh. Corn dog nuggets, mm-hmm. Pioneer berry salad. Man, I wanna get that brisket sandwich. And then they also have snacks over here too. Oh yeah, my love jalapeno poppers. Just like one clement, like one orange? One orange for four dollars. We're kind of out in the middle of it here. I don't know where we are. <laughs> There's a couple of picnic tables over here, a body of water, and I can see some canoes over here. So maybe there's canoe rental right there. You know what's weird though? I don't feel like we're at Disney. Right? Like this doesn't feel like a Disney resort. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in literally the best way. I like, feel like we're in the Carolinas or something. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like Florida. Well, it's not hot today. Maybe that's what it is, it's the right? weather. But it's so beautiful. Like, I just want to stay here and not go to the parks and just stay here, you know? I do know. You can see people in the distance learning how to Segway, and there's a couple of Segways parked over here. Ooh, I want to do that one day. Yeah. So where are we going to... Oh, we're by the bike barn. All right, so we'll head to the bike barn first and see what they have over there, and then we'll head over to the pool. They've got canoes and kayaks over here, but it says the beach is closed. I wonder how far you can take the canoes and kayaks because there is an opening over here. I don't know how far it goes. We'll have to do that one day too. Okay. So we're here by the bike barn for recreational rentals. And there's also a ping pong table here. Well, that looks like a lot of fun. Here's the prices at the bike barn. It's written real, real tiny. <laughs> Looks like a fishing themed photo op here at Fort Wilderness, fishing at the fort. From the bike rental place, Chippendale's campfire is behind it. This is where we parked our golf cart. Now we're headed over towards the pool. And this is like the main pool, right? Yeah, and the snack bar and the tennis courts. Ooh, no carts over here. Yeah, so this is the meadow swimming pool. Before we head out to the pool area, I wanted to show you guys the Meadow Snack Bar and what they have on the menu. Oh, look at this. This is a very common snack bar, you know, like hamburgers, hot dogs, pizzas. They got some sandwiches too. Some ham and Swiss, turkey wrap. Yes, that sounds delicious. Oh, also, that sounds really good. Right next to the snack bar is the arcade. She really wants a moonshine. It's kind of a kind of a small arcade. This isn't the only arcade on property. I believe there's another one that we're gonna try to find. This and it's also quieter in here than it is at most of the other arcades that we have been to. Oh my goodness, this is a very popular pool, and there's a slide in the middle of it too. That slide looks like a lot of fun. I love it. And there's also a splash pad over here as well. We're rocking out at the pool. I love that they do this at every Disney Resort pool. They got like a party cart. What? Huh? Also, there's a hot tub over here. Kind of looks like it's shaped like a guitar. Maybe it's shaped like a shovel. 
for Fort Wilderness? I like it. I think it's shaped like a badge. Like this a is Fort. My wilderness shovel. No, it's shaped like a badge for your a uh, like a the grape soda people. Oh yeah, wilderness explorers. So now we're headed out of the pool and over to what we saw on the way in, which was the sports courts, which is four tennis courts. And there's a little picnic area here. And three or, f oh no, it's just three grills over there that you could use, about three grills. I feel like you have to know that this resort is big when every single place around the entire resort has bike racks. So you are expected, or at least they give you the option to take your bike wherever you're going, because this place has a lot of ground to cover. So because I think that we're very much in the center of this resort, there is a lot of stuff to see in this vicinity like a beach volleyball court and a playground. If there's anything, the thing that we do. if there's anything that I think of when I'm touring Fort Wilderness, do who you? is this, Justin Timberlake? This is InSync's Dirty Pub and do not disrespect my boy band that way. Who was in InSync? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> but that was JC Chazé singing. It's a little bit too fancy Dirty for me. Pop. Check out the playground. But I'm like. It's the plane, he's, he's trying to avoid hitting the bird and the bird's just like, ha ha. You almost hit me. It's a pretty nice little playground. It reminds me of my childhood. Because it's not too complex. Hey, you're on a, a bridge. You're doing the monkey bars. Can I do it this way? Yeah. You did it. Oh yeah, look, you're hanging. You're such a like parkour. Whoa. Nice work. I didn't even touch the ground once. I know. There's the slide, the back side of the slide. And we're heading over this way. There's a lot of picnic tables all over the place in this resort. And this is the river. This is what we were asking. When you rent a canoe, where do you go? And I think you can go through this little river here. Across the water here is either section 1200 or 1300. I wouldn't want to stay there. Even though you are really close to the pool, it's very loud from the partying they're doing at the pool. Here's a look at the backside of the splash pad as we go past it. Looks like a lot of fun. The aquatic play area. So here's the entrance to the pool that we saw. Here is the bike rental hut. And we're gonna cross this bridge here and head over to the Meadow Trading Post. Oh, this place is massive. I did not think it was gonna be this big. It's definitely a very large shopping area. Here is the press penny machine that is Fort Wilderness themed. Nice. Right next to the front door, they've got all the supplies you need for s'mores, a camping staple. They have all kinds of Fort Wilderness themed merchandise I love this shirt. Look at how cool that is. Is it yesteryears? No. It's just a great camping. I love camping. Yes. I knew that. <laughs> and then they also have the spare tire covers too. They're pretty cool. So because this is a camping resort, you are expected to cook all your own food. So they have lots and lots of food supplies here for you. Like bread and then uh, eggs and bacon and salad, cheeses. Hot dogs. I'll have one hot dog salad, please. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. And then they've got some frozen stuff over here, like Eggos and pizzas and burritos. They also have a section for camping supplies, so that if you forgot anything, like take, for instance, your coax cable for hooking up your cable television that I didn't realize you got when you get a campsite here. This is to deodorize your toilet in your camper. In your RV, yeah. yeah. They have like everything that you need. Right? Pretty neat and then any sort of toiletries that you may have forgotten. And if you feel like you're not staying at a real Disney resort, oh my gosh. you can get Disney Resort's shampoo and conditioner. Dang, this is the good smell. Yeah. Can you open it and smell it? Mm -hmm. it smells good. I love this. This is my favorite one. Nice. They also have a few testers that you can use. Take for example, this Oasis Quench the Day Hydrating Mist. Lovely. How do you feel? Hydrated and misted. <laughs> I think it's just um, water in an aerosol can. <laughs> they also have liquors and wines and cigars back behind the front desk. Yay, Disney magic. What? They gave me a free coffee. Oh, I still had to pay for my tea. Oh. That's okay, you get the, you get the magic. <laughs> Outside of the Meadow Trading Post, we are on the other side of the waterway where the bike rental is across the way and Chippendale sing-alongs over there and we parked over there and there's a couple of tables out here I wonder if you can go fishing from the dock here. It's uh, it's probably pretty good fishing out here. Yeah? Yeah, it's aerated. The fish love that. I got my receipt I gotta throw out. I wanna show you guys 
how to use the trash can. So it says to reach your hand in here and then push. Okay. What? It was a very hard to do, like. Well, let me see the mechanism. Yeah, see, so you guys can kind of see how it works. So you have to like push that way. So it's a little bit hard, but it's for uh, the protection of the wildlife around us. Oh, Jen, <laughs> please, please drive me to another location at Fort Wilderness Resort. You got it. Just walking past the bike barn again, and there's one thing over here that we forgot to show you, and that is this shuffleboard court. And there's actually some people playing shuffleboard right now. Yeah. Also, did you see how these carts have like little decorations hanging from them? Yeah, this one's got like a whole sound system. No, I mean the flamingos. Do you see the flamingos hanging? Oh yeah, let's go have a look. I think they're lights. They're little fairy lights that are hanging from the golf carts. This one has little Mickeys. Oh yeah, look at that. How cool. Just passing by the Segway testing ground where you learn how to drive your Segways. But I think this is also where they do the archery. Yeah. Do you think that that's how they teach you how to do the Segway quicker? They're like, you gotta dodge all these like all these arrows. It's just like Indiana Jones where it's like, boom, 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 yeah. boom, and they're like, ah! I think that would definitely motivate me to learn how to do it quicker. We stopped over at Cypress Knee Circle, which is another area for campers and for tent camping. But I wanted to show you guys the playground that's over here. And there's also a dog park area too. It's pretty interesting. This is another nice little playground. Oh, what's that thing? You're gonna walk on the log? This looks so dangerous. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should I try it? Yeah, I changed my mind. But you have to do it with the coffee in your hand. You gotta do it with the coffee in my hand? Yeah, you gotta be on X Games mode all the time. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I'm a Canadian. <laughs> oh, there's two dogs playing in the dog park. Look at them run. Oh man, this is exciting. I don't know why this one says do not enter. I feel like this is the small dog section. This is the Wagon Tails Dog Park. And they're out here playing fetch with their dogs. Look, go get it dog, go get it. Yeah, those are good dogs. I wish we had a ball for them to play with because they only have one ball. We found out this smaller dog park is closed for site maintenance. It looks like they're resodding it. Just about every offshoot from the main road has a bus stop and a sports court, so this one's got a basketball court, but most of them are just tetherball. Usually just tetherball. I think I'd rather play tetherball. Oh yeah. Because I haven't played it in a while. And where do you get the balls? I don't know. It's a good question. Passing by some of the sections that have RVs and trailers and stuff like that in them. This is pretty awesome. I would want to come out here and stay in an RV. It looks really cool. I think I would rather like do actual camping in a tent. Yeah? In cold weather, not, not in hot weather. So I have to admit, before we left the house, I printed out a map, and you can get one up at the front desk at uh, check-in, but I'm really glad that I printed out a map because this place is gigantic, and we would have not found half the stuff that we found already if we didn't have a map. <laughs> Driving down a cart path, heading towards Bay Lake. Oh, there's a couple more cabins out here. Ooh, I would want to stay in one of these. Yeah, they're nice. They're so close to Bay Lake. Where do I go? Off to the right over here, or left, excuse me. And then we park in one of these spots and we are oh. right next to the settlement and marina. Cool, okay. So we're near Pioneer Hall, but I think what I want to do is head in this direction and start over there and just kind of work our way back towards Pioneer Hall. The background loop at Fort Wilderness gives me life. It is beautiful out here. Yeah, we picked the best day to do this. And I think it's such a calm and relaxing resort too. That's what I was saying. It doesn't feel like you're at Disney. So we are over here at the settlement trading post, which we'll go inside and see, but it should be exactly the same as the other trading post that we saw. See this huge grouping of golf carts here? These are parked golf carts that are of the people that have gone over to the parks like Magic Kingdom. Ooh, I like the design of this place much better. I'm drawn to these brooms up here. What are these like double ended brooms? That's how you do double the work. Oh, yeah, okay. Think it's smart. Right? Here's something I wanted to show you guys. They do sell charcoal here, but I think you would be much better off getting charcoal before coming here. What'd you find? These really comfortable feeling pants. Oh yeah. They feel so comfortable. Wow, they feel so soft. Yeah, I want them. You can tell they're popular because they've got ink cartridges on them. Oh, $37. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Look at this shirt. That is awesome. I love this. And of course, Fort Wilderness is a dog friendly resort, so they do sell all kinds of dog accessories here. Like Mickey Mouse ears for Bandit. Oh my god. 
fish? He would eat them. I don't think he would wear them, but man, I wish he would. Turning from settlement trading post, out here, you can see all the golf cart parking. Out here at Fort Wilderness Landing, and this is where you would catch the boat to go over to Magic Kingdom, or you could rent the Sprites, and we'll put a link to us renting a Sprite boat, or what do they call them, sea racers now. It was so fun. And they also have a bunch of beach chairs over here for relaxing. And this is also where you would go to get on a fishing excursion and go fishing on Bay Lake. Even though we are so close to Magic Kingdom right now, like Magic Kingdom is just on the other side of Discovery Island right here. It's so calm and beautiful out here. It still doesn't feel like we're at Disney. If there's one thing this resort loves, it's tetherball. There are tetherball poles everywhere. You can see sediment trading posts in the distance there. And now we're headed over towards Pioneer Hall and the Fort Wilderness Pavilion where Mickey's Backyard Barbecue is. There's another playground over here and a couple more tables for you to have picnics. There are picnic tables everywhere around this resort. Almost as many tetherball courts. I think they're definitely trying to like celebrate the outdoors. Like they want you to get out and hang out outside. Yeah. Walking up towards Pioneer Hall, but first, Crockett's Tavern and Trails End. I like the sign for Trails End. What do they have? So here is the menu for Trails End breakfast buffet. And then here is the dinner buffet. Let's go check and see if Crockett's Tavern is open. There's a serving window right here so you can come up and just get a quick drink. We're gonna head around the corner to the front entrance. So many, so many picnic tables. We thought we were going into Crockett's Tavern that says exit only. Let's go through Davy Crockett's Wilderness Arcade. Nine things in that title didn't make any sense for this situation. It's a pretty small little arcade. Yeah. Galaga and Miss Pac-Man. We made it out the other side. So here's the entrance to Trails End right here, but it is also the entrance to Crockett's Tavern. So I don't really understand. I guess this is all Trails End. This is all Trails End and Crockett's Tavern. So it doesn't look like anything's open yet. Right next to Trails End and Crockett's Tavern is PJ's Southern Takeout. I think that's where we're gonna try to go to get something to eat. But also right next to it is Pioneer Hall, where at night they have Hoopty Doo Review, which we will put a link up in this corner of the video to Hoopty Doo, so you guys can see what it's all about. Let's see what they have available for us here at PJ's Southern Takeout. There's another sign that said Trails End Takeout, so I'm assuming that this is the same stuff that you can get at Trails End, maybe? We are sitting down inside of Trails End now because we ordered our food, they gave us a pager. Yeah. And you are very far away from me. And I'm assuming that these tables are so wide because it's a buffet at night. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet and you're supposed to bring as many plates as you can and stack the table full of stuff. I like that, we should do that. Yes. So we got our food. Mm -hmm. There was nothing fast about that. That was not a quick service restaurant. It was a 20 oh. minute wait to get our food. But hopefully the food is really good and that's why it took so long. Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. see. Here's my bacon cheeseburger. It looks like a, like a standard bacon cheeseburger. Nothing special about it. They said the fries just came out. And there is, wow. That looks pretty good. This is my half slab of ribs and I actually thought it would be less ribs than this. So I don't yeah. know if I'm able to eat all this. And then and you then got sides and cornbread. It came with two sides. So we got mac and cheese. And then I got Tim these beans, cowboy beans. Yes. And yeah, my little cornbread guy. Yeah, you gotta keep it covered up though because there are birds out here and they're ready to steal it from you. So I finished my burger. It was a basic barbecue burger that you would get anywhere in the park. What do you think of your ribs so far? I really like them. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. I can't eat all of this though. I thought it was just gonna be like enough for me. Yeah. But I think really it's enough for both of us. Yeah. And I got two sides. So um, we tried the beans. And the beans are a little bit weird. Yeah, you can see, like, you see how there's this staining on the outside? And there's there's meat in it. That's the meat. Yeah. But it's very tomatoey. It almost tastes like chili. Almost tastes like spaghetti sauce. Yeah. And then how's your macaroni and cheese? It's good. It needs a little bit of salt, but I do like it. Nice. I know that I ordered the rib meal to myself because there was another rib meal that was meant for two people that was $27. But I think this half slab meal for $15 is totally enough food for two people. Like we could have eaten this and been totally full. We found out what the cowboy beans taste like. They taste like manwich. If you've ever had manwich sloppy joes, take that, add beans and replace the ground beef with like pulled pork. And there you go. Yeah, it was very strange. I, I did not like that. We can do make your own Disney cowboy beans at home. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Before we continue our tour of Fort Wilderness, we gotta use the bathroom, and I'm gonna show you guys the greatest tile mural in all of Disney <laughs> is in the bathrooms right next to Pioneer Hall. Here it is. 
the best mural in all of Disney. I don't know what happened to them, but they are so itchy. They're, look, this guy's using a stick to itch inside of his boot. This guy's trying to get that one real hard to reach spot. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they like slept in a thing of fire ants or fleas. Look, even the dog is itching. So I thought we would go back and get the golf cart to go to our next location, but then I looked and I saw our next location's right there. But before we get over to it, I wanted to point out this sign here that talks about horse-drawn excursions. So it tells you carriage rides, private rides, and how much they cost. Probably one of the greatest things about Fort Wilderness is the fact that Tri-Circle D Ranch is here where all the horses are kept. Here we are at Tri-Circle D Farm, which is an extension of the ranch. The ranch is over there. There's just this tower here that's covered with jasmine. I don't know why it's there or what the point of having this tower is. It's just covered with jasmine. Bet you this tower smells so good. Look at how thick the bottom of the jasmine is. Holy macaroni. And unfortunately, we cannot feed or pet the horses and ponies, but we can look at them. We can pet them with our eyes. We can pet them with our eyes. Hey there, pony. How's it going? They like learned how to put more water in it. Look at that. That is one smart horse. Or pony, I guess. What's the difference? I know, aside from size, what's the difference between horses and ponies? They also offer pony rides here. Gotta be a certain size, though. Hershey? Yep. Hello, Hershey. How are you? Hello. No. She said about my job. Oh, I love your bows in your hair. Yeah, Elsa froze his mane. Oh. I love that. <laughs> you are very pretty. Pretty awesome just to be able to, like, walk around and look at ponies. I think she has the best job. What, cleaning up poop? She just gets to hang out with the ponies and horses all day. And clean up their poop. I mean, I would, that's, that seems like a small price to pay. Ah, we go over to Tri-Circle D Ranch, where the full-size horses are. Oh, there's a horse out. There is a horse out. Holy cow. <laughs> that's a big horse. There's also a calliope over here that has been fully restored and they used to use this in the parade. This is Chief. Chief is normally the horse. Look at the size of that horse. Wow. That, he's the one that the, um, the Headless Horseman rides during Halloween. They are Percheron horses, which I think are bigger than Clydesdales. I'm not sure, I'll find out. There goes Dan. Dan's going back into his stall. Wow, look at the size of that head. Look at the size of those jaw muscles. Holy macaroni. Sometimes I feel like when you're looking into a horse's eyes and it has so much emotion, that's why I say hello to the animals because I feel like he's just gonna turn and look at me and go, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Here's the four different kinds of horses that they have here. And I thought that the Percheron was bigger than the Clydesdale. It is. Okay, so the Clydesdale is from 1600 to 2100 and the Percheron is from 1750 to 2200. But I think the Clydesdale is taller. Does it say? 16.2 to 18.2, 16.3 to 18.2, 16 so they're very similar in size. Oh, okay. Here's a model of what the Calliope looked like when it was being put in the parade. Oh, and here's a picture of it right here. Oh, wow. Pretty neat. Yeah. As we leave Tri-Circle D Ranch, we're headed across the street here to the area that is Mickey's Backyard Barbecue. Fort Wilderness Pavilion. Oh, I guess that's this, not Mickey's Backyard Barbecue, just a pavilion. So from Tri-Circle D Ranch, and then that pavilion is right behind. Here we're headed to the Fort Wilderness Pavilion and Mickey's Backyard Barbecue front entrance. Here is where you get your tickets for Mickey's Backyard Barbecue, or you check in. And then we head back in this direction. It's always fun finding new things that you didn't realize. So we went up to the back side of the pavilion there and I was like, oh, we can't get in because it's locked. And then we just came around this other side and, and it's wide open. Wow, this pavilion is nice. There's a whole section for a buffet over there. Well, this is it. This is Mickey's Backyard Barbecue. I thought that this was something totally different. This is pretty neat. So there's a whole stage up here where it looks like a band plays. And then in the back back there, they've got a whole section for a buffet. Oh wait, this is for the barbecue? Yeah. Oh, so this is almost like the luau. Yeah. Where you, it's just like a big, huge group seating. Except for the luau wasn't buffet. Right. Looks cool. As we're leaving Mickey's Backyard Barbecue, 
96% sure that this is river country right here, all this green scrim and fencing. Y'all have a rip roaring day. Thanks, Mickey. Wanted to show you the running trail. This one's a long one, two and a half miles. You start over at Wilderness Lodge, run all along this path, which by the way, you get to have a look at, I'm sure just the green fence for river country, and then all through Fort Wilderness. Definitely confusing, because you think you can go down all these little side paths, but you can't. Looks like there's not enough room for two golf carts to go down. Just passing by another, oh, they've got two sports courts. They got volleyball and basketball. And a little, uh, little playground too. I feel like we found the section that's way away from everybody. It's nice back here. There's nobody around, just us and the hum of the golf cart motor. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, that's where we're gonna go check out though. Do I go right? Yeah, sure, why not? We're off in a section of the resort that doesn't have any campsites in it. And it's just on the, the I don't know, the road? Yeah, this is like a regular road, I think. It's very strange. Where does see, this road go to? This goes to where we just were. Is this a big circle? Yeah. Oh, okay. So like this car is coming back from where we were at Frontier Hall. There's a bus stop back here, but I don't know why. Like what is going on back here? There's just this huge wide open area with picnic tables and grills and a fire pit. Oh, this is awesome. This must be, this kind of reminds me of the backyard barbecue setup, but different. Yeah, it's definitely very strange. I wonder if this is an area that you can like rent out to have a party at. What does it say? Do not feed the wildlife. But there's just a ton of tables, three grills, and a fire pit, as well as a hose to fill up some water. It's very interesting back here. I don't understand what any of this is for, but it's awesome. And of course, a tetherball court and beach volleyball. And then there's just a comfort station over here. So I think that this is just the comfort station for like these little barbecue areas. Which is kind of interesting. There's like a wash sink for you to wash your dishes in. There's an ice machine. There's a phone. And then there's some bathrooms, which are locked. Oh, no. Huh. It's Very strange. I feel like we're not supposed to be back here. Right? It's pretty interesting. I think that this is what they call the Creekside Meadow. And here's the creek that we are at the Creekside Meadow for. It looks nice. Oh, Jen. Yeah. Please, please take me back up to the front of Fort Wilderness to return our golf cart. You got it. I like that. You got it. That's like when I text through Siri. She always says, done. Goodbye, 4306. You've been good to us. You are not only a good golf cart, you are the best golf cart. Yeah. I want a golf cart now. Oh no, bye. Golf cart. So although we just returned our golf cart, there's still one more thing that we have to see, and that is the meeting spot for the trail rides, because you can do horseback trail rides here at Fort Wilderness. One of the things that we wanted to do for you guys, but they don't allow us to bring a camera on there, so we uh, we haven't done it yet. Here it is, the Tri-Circle D Ranch trail rides. There's all the horses. They're all done with their trail ride for the day. Oh, I love how that horse looks like a Dalmatian. Oh yeah, there are a lot of horses over here. There's more way back there too. There they all are. You know, it's very dark they're in the shade. There it is. The very last thing we have to show you and that is the check-in for the trail ride. And you can see, welcome to the Trailblaze Corral. And there's a couple of little steps over here where you climb up onto the horse. Ah, good old Tim, only getting at least five things wrong in a row. That wasn't the check-in, that's just where you get on the horse. Check-in is over here. So there it is. The last thing on our list of things to see at Fort Wilderness is the check-in for the trail ride. And that's it. That was all of Fort Wilderness. It's, it's done, we did it the daunting task of showing as much as possible at Fort Wilderness with the help of a golf cart. And that golf cart cost us $60. It's supposed to last us the whole day. We only had it for a couple of hours, mm -hmm. but well worth it because we didn't have to walk as far. I honestly don't think we could have done it without the golf cart. We either needed to rent a bicycle or to rent that golf cart. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend it if you're staying here to get one of those. It seems well worth the money. Oh yeah. And so with that being said, we want to stay here. Yeah. And we will see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.